So I know I'm coming to you with no wig on, but I really just wanted to show you the construction of this unit before I put it on. And um, I'm going to show the box and everything that came in later. So this is from Wow African, and this is the Brazilian Yaki Straight. And it is definitely Yaki, okay? Um, it's 18 inches, natural color, 180 density. Um, the hairline is pre-plucked. There is 4 inches of lace in the front. I'm going to turn it inside out to show you the construction of it. It is a 360 lace front tool and um, or a lace, yeah basically a lace front tool. Uh, and it looks like that on the inside and so in the front you have four inches of lace in the back you have two inches in case you want to wear it in a ponytail. Um, then you have a comb in the back and three in the front and on the sides and stuff like that. It also comes with an adjustable strap. So this is a really, really, really good, uh, well-constructed cap. Um, and then the front just looks like that. So the hairline looks pretty good. It is pre-plucked and it has like some baby hairs. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the lace. And it looks like it might be, you know, my skin tone when I put it on. It might not be too obvious that it's a lace, you know, wig. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the lace and I'll be right back. So this is really what it just looks like slapped on, okay? Um, hairline looks kind of natural. Uh, the part, the color actually is really good. Um, it just feels wrong. Like, there we go. So that's what it looks like. It would probably have to be flat ironed. Or, you know, something of that nature. Because it was in a package. So it might, you know, not be as straight or flat as I want it um, up here. So, yeah, that's an easy fix. That is basically mousse and water will fix the flatness of your unit. Um, I just use wrapping lotion and water. Uh, nonetheless, the hair is really really nice like that yakky texture I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera but it's just really natural um, for people who have kinky hair or curly hair this could kind of pass as maybe you getting like a blowout in a silk press or a flat iron or something so yeah the only thing I would say is I would probably have to run my flat iron through it just to get this bump right I said flat, <laughs> straight and flat, okay? So, yeah. Um, nonetheless, uh, you know, the little part and stuff is really good. The color matches really well with my scalp. I had on the wig cap underneath, but I ended up pushing it all the way back because the wig cap was actually making it too, too light. So, um, it's good on its own. And... I think that's basically all I wanted to mention there. I'm going to show you guys the packaging. And I'm probably going to come back and do another video on this unit because I'm probably going to flat iron this stuff. Um, because I think it has the potential to be great. Okay. <laughs> um, e, I about poked myself in the eye. But yeah, it's just this part right here. Just needs to sit a tad bit flatter. So, I do have a coupon code. If you use T, look, I'm over here talking and I'm bent down. If you use TLW, you will receive 10% off your 360 unit. Um, this is what the box looks like. So, it just came in the box. Um, it's just a black box. It says, well, African has like a little Afro type thing going on right here. Um, and it's just like, you know, simple. It's, it actually, the box says, it's actually very simple. We hope you will be happy. And... I guess that's kind of their motto. Once you opened it, on top was the wig, and the wig was in a plastic wrap in a hairnet. So, yeah. And then they also threw in some other stuff. So, I'm going to show you guys that. And I forgot all that it came with. So, I'm super excited because I'm looking in the box like, oh, shit. Alright, so, we have some 
information packet and then they sent a two pack wig cap and this is probably the one that would be better for my skin tone because it's like brown like me <laughs> um, and the one I use is beige so this one will probably be better underneath this wig so I'm glad they sent that because I actually don't have any that color so I'm definitely going to hold on to that they also sent some bobby pins and it's always a plus to have some and these are actually like really really thick I don't know if you guys can see it but they are really thick and longer than a standard bobby pin and then they also sent a a piece of elastic in case you wanted to secure your wig and make it lay flatter but honestly I don't think I would even need that because I think it sits pretty flat on its own especially after I flat iron it um so yeah I don't think I would need that because like I said it sits really nicely um and it doesn't really have bumps and bruises <laughs> bumps and bruises but now it really doesn't have bumps and stuff so it works out pretty nicely my favorite part was this calendar because I really need to manage my time and schedule out my days more um and then inside of this calendar I kind of saw some people that I watch on YouTube so I was super excited and then it just has like this thing in the middle so it could sit up on the dresser so that's pretty um, convenient and um, we have people in here that I watch as I said and it is a 2017 calendar um, so there we go we have the brilliant beauty we have forever flawless um, Raven Elise so you know you just have oh my gosh she is one of my faves peak mill if y'all don't watch her on YouTube what her the lookbooks her wig making tutorials everything is so lit I think she was actually the first person to teach me how to make a frontal unit and she was like probably the first person to teach me how to make a wig in the first place so she was definitely an inspiration and I definitely learned a lot from her so yeah <laughs> sorry I just had to go on a little a little uh, a little rant so um, yeah this Vicky Logan they just got like a lot of people that you might watch already and yeah so that is that and I'm just gonna sit it right there and this unit I will leave the prices and the links and all of that and you know it's from Wild wow African um let me see if you can get a texture shot So this unit was like a tad, tad, tad bit shorter. It would probably look like I blew out my natural hair and did that. So let me show you guys the part. Um, like I said, the part might not even be laid right now because I really didn't do much but cut off the lace and sat it on top of my head. So the part is not even straight because I used my fingernail to part it. So, you know, I'm a rat sometimes, you know. But anyways, this hair looks really, really good. And lately I've been getting like some really, really good straight hair some really really good already made 360 frontals so super duper impressed and because I have so many you might find this unit in my wig sale coming up fairly fairly soon hopefully before the end of February so um, this is going to be some pre-made ones from different companies as well as a mixture of mine and most of them if not all of them are virgin hair so and they're going to be really really inexpensive so keep an eye out for that and I will keep you posted um, so yeah and the density of this, if I didn't say already, is 180, so it's it's a it's a natural density. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a natural density. I just had to pull it up to see. So thank you guys for watching. While African, you get an A from me. Um, I think all the units I reviewed today get, got like an A. I have one more to do, and it's probably going to get an A. But like I said, these companies are stepping their game up, um, and I don't blame them, you know, because if you're going to buy some very expensive, if you're going to buy some really expensive hair, it needs to be laid, you understand? Like, don't sell me no bullshit, and I paid a lot for it, all right? Um, and I definitely stepped up, um, and I'm saying that because I stepped up my game on construction, because I realize my wigs, they are pricey just because the hair alone is pricey. And sometimes I do have to go order the hair specifically for a wig. Um, so sometimes the, the prices can be kind of up there. So um, when people, you know, crit not really criticized but gave feedback like, oh, you know, the wig was really nice and stuff. However, you know, need to tighten up the, the sewing and stuff like that. So I just was like, you know what? 
I don't, I ain't gonna get mad. I ain't gonna fight back. I ain't gonna do nothing. I'm just gonna like, all right, cool. I took criticism to a T, and I definitely had to buckle down on my wigs because I realized I'm not the only person out here in the world making wigs. So if I'm gonna do it, I need to do it to my best ability, and I need to get better as I, you know, gradually. Cause understand, like I just started making wigs, um, probably not even a year ago. So, uh, you know, I was just starting out and I was just like trying to get them done and just rushing through it. But now it's like, I've been doing it. I know how it go. I know to sew down the ends way more, like put a lot of thread in there and get it, you know, buckled down and sewed onto the cap because those are the places that will tight easy, easily loosen up. All right. So, um, I had to buckle down and a lot of, like I said, a lot of companies are buckling down when it comes to making units. So... I really like that and they're trying to make it look more natural because nobody want to be walking around here with a white or yellow, whatever color you want to call it, beige lace line showing on their forehead and um, nobody want to come walk around with a Barbie doll hairline like make it more natural and they do and they took the time to do that. They took the time to make it pre-plugged, took the time to have a little bit of baby hairs and to make the scalp or the lace look like real scalp so and they took the time with their packaging is which is something i appreciate and i just went on a little tangent okay but this is some really really good hair and i think after i flat iron it it's gonna be great okay thank you guys so much for joining i haven't decided my hairstyle for miami i'm thinking bun it up but i'm not sure i think i want a bun though or a bob and i'm in the process of making a bob so let me know what hairstyles y'all recommend for miami Again, thank you guys for joining. This is Wild African. Use the code TLW. I got for you guys to get 10% off of your 360 unit. All right. Again, thank you for joining.